Look like a DJ. Oh, math. Matt Damon! Hey, that's, uh, that guy's from, uh, Thor. Who's this person? He's got nice lips. Oh, there's so much stuff everywhere. Ah, uh, did you guys ever have those pants when you were little? The sweatpants that button on the sides and you can just like, yeah, like rip them off. I may still have a pair, if I'm being honest. Best friends? So please finish Percival by next time. Oh, what cool chalkboards. I also put an advanced Fourier system on the main hallway chalkboard. And I'm hoping that one of you might prove it by the end of the semester. Okay. Okay, so we're not even gonna... We're just sloppy mopping. That's what I call that, a slop mop. His thing says Bob. Who is he gonna try? I will. Christian, how you doing? Kathy! What? Why didn't you give me none of that nasty little hoochie wooch you usually throw at me? <laughs> Waste my energy spreading my legs for that tootsie roll dick. So go home and give it a tag yourself. Tootsie <laughs> roll. Tootsie <laughs> roll. Boy's got some math to do. God, I haven't done calculus in so long. He's like a vibe, you know? Like, he's a whole, like, just, like, aesthetic to him. Like, like you'd find him on, like, a moody Tumblr board. Casey's bouncing up a bar uh, at Harvard next week. At Harvard? What are you going to do up there? Some smart kids. Got some smart kids. Right what what accent is that? Whoa! Like New York? What's up? I'd hold you forever. Wow. Professor Lambo? Come here. It's Saturday. <laughs> Unless you want to have a drink with me tonight. Oh. <laughs> Maybe. We just couldn't wait until Monday to find out. Find out what? Who proved the theorem? Oh, he doesn't know. Yeah, looks looks right to me, cause I know how to do that. Who did this? Come on, it's me, it's me, Will. Remember we went to kindergarten together. Damn. Oh. Sam, wasn't he just on the ground a second ago? Oh, it's Popo. God, he's like beating the shit out of that kid. Damn. Well. So without further ado, come forward to Silent Road and receive thy prize. Well, he's not there. He's out tussling on the basketball court. Seems there will be no unmasking here today. Is he doing it again? Okay, they'll figure it out. Sorry. What do you do? Less people's work. You can't graffiti here. He's the one who solved your math problem, you butthole. Oh my god. Oh my god. It was him. Looks right. <laughs> See, look, like this is just like a Tumblr post on a moody Tumblr board. It's a vibe. Oh no. Can more than tuna, bitch. <laughs> you get canned more than tuna, bitch. Come <laughs> on. I asked you yesterday if I could get a job, and I told you no yesterday. <laughs> what is the beef with those two? Maybe it's just like the movies, but huh? like he's cute. The whole friend group's cute. Let's see who else? The two guys at the bar at the beginning, cute. Like that guy's cute. That guy's cute. Like she's pretty. She's also pretty. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you? Fine. Maybe only people in Boston are hot. <laughs> I'm a genius. I am hey. very smart. Hey. hey. How's it going? Just history? How'd you like that course? You know, 
frankly. I was just hoping you might give me some insight into the evolution of the market economy in the southern colonies. Agrarian pre-capital. All right, of course that's your Hang on You're a first-year grad student. You just got finished reading some Moxian historian, Pete Garrison, probably. You're gonna be Hell yeah. Cap talking about, you know, the pre-revolutionary utopia and the capital forming effects of military mobilization. Matter of fact, I won't because Wood drastically underestimates the impact Wood of social. Wood drastically underestimates. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I read that too. Were well, you gonna plagiarize the whole thing for us? Do you have any thoughts of, of your own on this matter? And Damn. Point it off as, as your own idea, just to impress some girl. <laughs> oh my, my God. Friend. That man just literally roasted him. Is, Is that how you would say that? On your own. Oh, man, there's no problem. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. cool. Cool, 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 cool. Anyway. I've been sitting over there for 45 minutes waiting for you to come and talk to me. But I'm tired now and I have to go home. I'm well. Skylar. Okay. Get up early and waste some more money on my overpriced education. It was a good roast. Maybe we could just get... Uh, right then. Her little dress is so cute. Somebody give me a dress like that. Do you like apples? I got a number. Five, 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 one, two, one, two, nine, four. Damn. This movie kind of makes you feel like you're just like part of this little group. Like you're just like, you know, just hanging out. Now, liberty, in case you've forgotten, is the soul's right to breathe. I mean, it cannot take a long breath. Laws are girded too tight. Without liberty, man is a sinko. Man is a what? I've been sitting here for 10 minutes now looking over this. Rap sheet of yours. I just can't believe that guy's got some hair, bro. Three, mayhem, theft, <laughs> resisting, all overturned. I'm also aware that you've been through several foster homes. The state removed you from three because of serious physical abuse. Oh. The judge might fifty thousand dollar bail. Thank you. Damn. Funny, good-looking guy you met at the bar the other night. I don't oh my God. See anyone who matches that description? I think I'd remember. Oh, all right, you got me. It's the ugly, obnoxious, toothless losers. Oh, well, I remember. Uh, this is just a shot in the dark, but uh, pretty off. 50,000? What do you want? The professor you told to f*** himself. Well, what the f*** well. do you want? I've spoken to the judge, and he's agreed to release you under my supervision. Really? But under two conditions. What are those? How did he just have those? That you see a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it's better than spending that time in jail, isn't it? Just go to the therapist. Yeah. Man. No more ballyhoo. You're right. Bally what? Do you find it hard to hide the fact that you're gay? What are you what? Look, buddy, two seconds ago you were ready to give me a jump. A jump? It can be like, uh, it's very erotic. No. Oh. Anymore, it's just not, it's not worth it. What happened? A raving loony in there. An absolute lunatic he is. Damn. Okay, now, how old are you? Hypnosis? Seven. What do you see? Is that touching hmm. where is it touching you yeah. why is everybody sitting in on this hey afternoon delight i've better things to do with my time hey afternoon delight dang one dance you, you really hypnotized me you know what that's oh, messed up i don't need therapy that's enough get out ah. well damn well, there is someone who is he used to be my um Trust. Robert Williams! Woo! In the clinical situation, why is trust the most important? He's so cute. Nail them while they're vulnerable. That's my motto. Nail them while they're vulnerable. Stages of dying? Hey, Jerry. It's how long has it been since we've seen each other? Before Nancy died. Yeah, I'm sorry. Mm. I was in Paris. It was that damn conference. I got your card. It was nice. Ever heard of Romanijov? Yeah. No. 
She's a man, <laughs> so Indian. Dots, not feathers. feathers, yeah. And they lived in this tiny hut somewhere in India. No, they did not. Education. Now this this Romano John, his, his genius was unparalleled, Sean. Well, this boy is just like that. Hmm. How many shrinks you go to before me? Four, three, five. Woo! Barrett. This is Sean McGuire, Will Hunting. How are you? Yeah, let's get started. Yeah, let's do it. I'm pumped. Let's let the healing begin. Would you excuse us? Yeah, please, Tom. You too, Jerry. Yeah, of course. Bye! Where are you from in Southie? I like what you've done with the place. Oh, thanks. Spend all your money on these fucking fancy books. You surround yourselves with them. They're the wrong fucking books. What are the right fucking books, Will? <laughs> hey, whatever blows your hair back. Yeah. Hmm. I got much hair left. <laughs> hey. You paint that? Yeah. You paint? Mm-mm. You sculpt? Oh, cool. It's a real piece of shit. Oh. Well, tell me what you really think. Oh, I'm just, you know the real bitch of it? <laughs> it's paint by number. I think you're about one step away from cutting your fucking ear off. Really? Oh, yeah. The yeah. sky's falling on your head. The waves are crashing over your little boat. The oars are about to snap. Bingo. That's it. Let me do my job now. You start with me. Come on. Damn. You married the wrong woman. Maybe you should watch your mouth. <coughs> watch it right there, Chief, all right? Hmm. Well, that's it, isn't it? What happened? Why'd she leave you? Well, she, you know... Bang some other guy. If you ever disrespect my wife again, I will end you. I will fucking end you. Got that, Chief? Time's up. Yeah. Damn. Okay, what's the verdict? Thursday, 4 o'clock. Make sure the kid's here. Damn, all right. Thanks. Yo, nothing is wrong with therapy, okay? Nothing wrong with it. Everyone should go to therapy. Sad. Well, you look lovely in those glasses. Thank you very much. You're just beautiful. Yes, I always wanted that blue eyeshadow. Wonderful. <laughs> Growing up in England, you know, I went to a very nice school. Ning after. I don't really date, you know, that much. Oh, very unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know you've been thinking about it. No, I tell you, I was hoping to get good night late. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got some of your pickle. <laughs> Cute. I love going on dates. <laughs> All right, where are we going? I thought about what you said to me the other day about my painting. You know what occurred to me? You've never been out of Boston. If I asked you about art, you'd probably give me the skinny on every art book ever written. Michelangelo. I bet you can't tell me what it smells like in the Sistine Chapel. I've seen that. If I ask you about women, you'd probably give me a silver set, your personal favorites. Hmm. But you can't tell me what it feels like to wake up next to a woman and feel truly happy. You're a tough kid. Man, I hope somebody feels like that about me. Wake up next to me and feel happy. <laughs> but you've never been near one. You've never held your best friend's head in your lap. And watch him gasp his last breath looking to you for help. Oh, no, that's sad. Of love. But you've never looked at a woman and been totally vulnerable. Feeling like God put an angel on earth just for you. <laughs> Could rescue you from the depths of hell. And you wouldn't know what it's like to be her angel through anything, through cancer. I'm going to cry. I'm already crying. It's Sitting up in a hospital room for two months, holding her hand. Because the doctors could, you don't know about real loss. Because that only occurs when you love something more than you love yourself. I look at you. I don't see an intelligent, confident man. I see a cocky, scared, shitless kid. Unless you want to talk about you who you are, and I'm fascinated. I'm in. That's good. Please, you move, Chief. Damn. I like that he sits in a yellow chair. Okay. 
All right, where are we getting? What do you mean it didn't talk? You were in there for an hour. I just sat there counting the seconds until the session was over. Why would he do that? Prove to me he doesn't have to talk to me if he doesn't want to. Talk <laughs> first. Jerry, if we do the whole thing this way, then they... Hey, look, look. I wrote it down. It's, it's simpler this way. Damn. All right, the math is mathin'. The therapy is not therapyin'. Is about to break. You know, <laughs> I have been late. You know, really, big time, big time, big time. Big time. Mm. I want big time. Be going out again? I don't know. Why not? I haven't called her. Yeah, but this girl's like, you know, beautiful. She's smart, she's fun. So call her up, Romeo. Why, so I can realize she's not that smart? This girl's like fucking perfect right now. I don't want to ruin that. Damn. Maybe you're perfect right now. Maybe you don't want to ruin that. But I think that's a super Ooh. way you can go through your entire life without ever having to really know anybody. My wife used to fart when she was nervous. She had all sorts of wonderful little idiosyncrasies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she used to fart in her sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I shared that with you. <laughs> One night it was so loud it woke the dog up. That's my worst fear. No, that's awful. Oh, God. <laughs> she woke herself up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ. I, I would, would die. In two years, and that's the shit I remember. <laughs> Full stuff, you know? Little <laughs> Those are the things I miss the most. <laughs> the little idiosyncrasies that only I knew about. That's what made her my wife. People call these things imperfections, but they're not. Oh, that's the good stuff. And then we get to choose who we let into our weird little worlds. You're not perfect, sport. Why? I'm so sad. I'm so emotional. <laughs> the question is whether or not you're perfect for each other. Yeah. That's the whole... You ever think about getting remarried? My wife's dead. Hence the word remarried. She's dead. Well, that's mm. a super philosophy shot. I mean, that way you could actually go through the rest of your life without ever really knowing anybody. Time's up. That was a good conversation. I thought you'd call. Oh, yeah. Um, but then maybe some other time. Like tomorrow? Um, okay, so it's not... Yeah, all right. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. It wasn't like a total rejection but he should have called what are you doing here i couldn't wait till tomorrow you got lots of brothers and sisters uh, you wouldn't believe me if i told you why go on what five <laughs> seven eight how many i have 12 big brothers you do not. 12 god i swear to god i'm no. lucky 13 right here <laughs> well, then, what are they called? Marky, Ricky, Danny, Terry, Mikey, Davey, Timmy, Tommy, Joey, Robbie, Johnny, and Brian. Say it again. Marky, Ricky, Danny, Terry, Mikey, Davey, Timmy, Tommy, Joey, Robbie, Johnny, and Brian. Well, I'd like to meet them. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, uh -oh. I read your book last night. Oh, so you're the one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you still counsel them? Oh, I got regrets, Will, but I don't regret a single day I spent with her. Fuck, man. I swear to God, I just want somebody to love me. Because uh. it was game six of the World Series. Biggest game in Red Sox history? Yeah, sure. My friends and I had you know, slept out on the sidewalk all night to get tickets. You got tickets? Yep. <laughs> Day of the game. Old Pudge. Steps up to the plate. You know, he's got that weird stand. Yeah, yeah. And then, boom! He clocks it, you know. High five ball on the left field line. 35,000 people on their feet, yelling at the ball, but that's not because Fisk, he's waving at the ball like a bow, he goes in shit, and 35,000 fans, you know, they charge the field, you know? Yeah, and he's... <laughs> get, get away, get away, get away! I can't fucking believe you had tickets in that fucking game! Yeah. <laughs> Feel I wasn't there. What? No, I was in a bar having a drink with my future wife. I don't oh. care if Helen and Troy walks oh, into the Helen room, that's Troy. game six! No. Oh my God, and who are these... Just slid my ticket across the table and I said, sorry guys, I gotta see about a girl. <laughs> You're kidding me. No, I'm not kidding you, Will. 
<laughs> talking right now about some girl I saw at a bar 20 years ago and how I always regretted not going over and talking to her. I don't regret the 18 years I was married to Nancy. I don't regret the six years I had to give up counseling when she got sick. And I don't regret the last years when she got really sick. And I sure as hell don't regret missing a damn game. That's regret. Oh. Would have been nice to catch that game, though. I'm just going to hit a home run. <laughs> <laughs> what if I said I would not sleep with you again until you let me meet your friend? Hmm. It's like 4.30 in the morning. They're probably up. They're so cute. Hmm. Real just because you don't have to sleep in your one-room palace. Right. Right? Don't start right. thinking you're bad. Hey, wait. You said we were going to see your place. No, not tonight. Oh, no, not tonight. Not any other night, honey. Yeah. If I want to meet your brothers. No, we're going to do that another time. All right. Dang. Tim, can you help us? We're trying to settle a bet. Uh-oh. You ever heard of Jonas Salk? Sure. Killed polio. You have heard of Albert Einstein? <laughs> <laughs> How about Gerald Lambeau? Ever heard of him? No. Thank you, Tim. So who won the bet? I did. <laughs> this is pretty dramatic, Jerry. No, it isn't, Sean. He just hasn't got the direction, but we can give that to him. Hey, Timmy! No! Who's Ted Kaczynski? Uniform. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Feels mad. Tank, but like... I want what you want. Yeah. Life than a Fields medal. This is too important, Sean. Five but is it like important to you? The boy's in a meeting right now. I set up for him over at McNeil. Well, Will, uh, nobody in this town works without a retainer, guys. You think you can find somebody who does? Let me tell you, you have my blessing. But I think we all know that person's not going to oh. do as well as I can. You want us to give you cash right now? <laughs> Your situation for you. Would be concurrently improved. Oh no! I had. <laughs> well, I don't think I, I can. Uh, uh, the business we have here too far. You can speak with my aforementioned attorney. What is he doing? Good day, gentlemen. And until that day comes, keep your head to the grindstone. Because he's with her. How's it going? Fine. Yeah. Good. Well, have you studied organic chemistry? A little bit. Yeah, it's so much fun studying organic chemistry. Are you mad? <laughs> I want to talk about this. No, so... I'm trying to explain it to you. You play the piano. Yeah. All right, so when you when you look at a piano, you see Mozart. I see chopsticks. All right, well, Beethoven. Okay. <laughs> 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 Beethoven, Mozart, they saw it, they could just play. Hmm. Dude, that's how my brother is with the drums. Probably can it. But you can do my outcome okay paper in under an hour. That's the best I can explain. Come here. I've been here for four years. And I've only just found you. <laughs> I can't do it. Wait. I want you to come to California with me. You sure about that? Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> that's a really serious thing you say. I mean, I, I know. you could be in California next week, and, you know, you might find out something about me you don't like, and, and now I'm stuck in California. Someone doesn't really want to be with me. Just wish they had a take back. The abandonment issues. What am I so scared of? Well, what aren't you scared of? You live in this safe little world where no one challenges you and you're scared shitless oh, to do don't, anything don't, else. Don't tell me about my world. Don't tell me about my world. I mean, you just want to have your little fling with, like, the guy from the other side of town. Then you're going to go off and just sit around with the other trust fund babies and talk about how you went slumming too once. That's mean. Then at least I'm honest with you. I'm not honest with you? No, what about your 12 brothers? What do you want to know? What? That I don't have 12 brothers? Yeah. That I'm a an orphan? No, yeah. you don't want to hear I that. Didn't know no, that. you don't want to hear that. You don't want to hear that I got fucking cigarettes put out of me when I was a little kid. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that this that. isn't fucking surgery. That the motherfucker stabbed me. Oh God, I just want to be with don't you because bullshit. I love you. Don't bullshit me. I don't love you. fucking bullshit me. I love you. Oh, I'm 
upset. I want to eat. I don't love you. Oh, fuck. Oh, I've been in her situation. <laughs> Horrible. So the way I see it, the question isn't why should you work for the NSA? The question is why shouldn't you? It's a tough one. <laughs> but I'll take a shot. Say I'm working at the NSA and somebody puts a code on my desk, something no one else can break. But maybe that code was the location of some rebel army in North Africa or the Middle East. And once they have that location, they bomb the village where the rebels are hiding. 1,500 people that I never met, never had no problem with, get killed. Got exposed. Oh, no. He just got so what did I think? I'm holding out for something better. Whoa. I feel like you're alone, Will. Quite the monologue. You're always afraid to take the first step. Because all you see is every negative thing 10 miles down the road. No, look, I didn't want the job. It's not about the job. I don't care if you work for the government. I mean, the guys who work their entire life laying brick so their kids have a chance at the opportunities you have. I mean, what's wrong with laying brick? Nothing. There's nothing wrong with it. So that's somebody's home I'm building. Right. No, we got to, like, brick. find the passion in him. I just have a little question here. You could be a janitor anywhere. Why did you work at the most prestigious technical college in the whole f***ing world? Why did you sneak around at night and finish other people's formulas that only one or two people in the world could do and then lie about? Hmm. Because I don't see a lot of honor in that, Will. Damn. So what do you really want to do? I want to be a shepherd, get some sheep and tend to them. Maybe you should go do that. What? You know, if you're going to jerk off, why don't you just do it at home with a moist towel? You're chucking me? Yeah. Get... You're lecturing me on life? Look at you, you fucking burnout. What winds your clock? Hey, at least I played a hand. Oh, if you played a hand and you lost. Some people will lose a big hand like that and have the sack to ante up again. Oh, no. What do you want to do? You got a bullshit answer for everybody. But I ask you a very simple question, and you can't give me a straight answer. Because you don't know. Don't know. See you, Bo Peep. <laughs> Bo Peep. I love you. Take care. God damn. Oh, that would ruin my entire trip to California. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I would be crying in the airport. Uh. So how's your lady? Ah, she's gone. Gone. Med school. What was this? It's like a week ago. You just don't talk about it. Well, that sucks. Way out of here. I want a way out of here for her. I mean, I'm gonna fucking live here the rest of my life. You know, be neighbors, you know, we'll have little kids. Look, you're my best friend, so don't take this the wrong way. In 20 years, if you're still living here, I'll fucking kill you. You got something none of us. Oh, come on. Why, why is it always this? I mean, I fucking owe it to myself. To... No, no, no. Oh, fuck you. You don't owe it to yourself. You owe it to me. Because I'd do fucking anything to have what you got. It'd be an insult to us if you're still here in 20 years. Hanging around here is a fucking waste of your time. For about 10 seconds from when I pull up to the curb when I get to your door. Because I think maybe I'll get up there and I'll knock on the door and you won't be there. I don't know much, but I know that. This is a disaster. Damn. Right, okay, he's got problems. Well, what problems does he have, Sean? That he's better off as a janitor, that he's better off in jail, better off hanging out with a bunch of retarded gorillas? Oh, why do you think he does that? Listen, Jerry, and why does he hang out with those retarded gorillas, as you call them? Because any one of them, if he asked them to, would take a fucking bat to your head, okay? Yeah. It's called loyalty. Don't infect him with the idea that it's okay to quit, that it's okay to be a failure, because it's not okay, Sean. It's not about you're that. Being, you're angry at me for doing what you could have done, but ask yourself, Sean. You and your kiss-ass chorus following you around going to the Fields Medal, the Fields Medal. Oh. Yeah, you were smarter than me then, and you're smarter than me now, so don't blame me for how your life turned out. It's not my fault. I don't blame you. It's not about... He's not... You mad yeah. Dick. It's about the boy. He's a good kid, and I won't see you f*** him up like you're trying to f*** up me right now. And because I learned to push He's myself. He's not you. You guessed that? That was just leaving. I, I'm a, Yeah, I don't know. That's... Mr. Professor Math Magician needs to calm the hell down. Hey, you're not gonna fail me, are you? <clears throat> Have you had any uh, 
experience with that? 20 years of counseling. Yeah, I've seen some pretty awful shit. I mean, have you had any experience with that? Yeah, yeah I have. It sure ain't good. Oh, no. Home Hammett looking to wail on somebody. So I'd provoke him so he wouldn't go after my mother and little brother. Yeah, he used to just put a, uh, a wrench, a stick, and a belt on the table and just say choose. Well, I gotta go with the belt there, Vanna. I used to go with the wrench. Why the wrench? Because fuck him. That's why. Mm. Fear of abandonment. <laughs> Is that why, uh, is that why I broke up with Skyler? I didn't know you had. You hey, will. You see this? Holy shit. This is not your fault. Look at me, son. It's not your fault. I know. It's not your fault. I know. No, no, you don't. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Don't f <laughs> Your fault. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm unwell yet again. So that's so that's it. So we're, we're done. Yeah, that's it. Not the Nanny McPhee. You know, no, not the Nanny McPhee. Yeah, you know, I figured I'm just gonna put my money back on the table and see what kind of cards I get. You do what's in your heart, son, you'll be fine. Do what's in your heart. Thank you, Will. It is violate the uh, patient-doctor relationship. Nah, only if you grab my ass. <laughs> <laughs> you too. No. Here's your present. Come on, brother. What? Oh. We knew you had to get back and forth to Cambridge for your new job. And what? That's awesome. It's the ugliest fucking car I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> What is happening? What does it say? Is all of his stuff gone? <laughs> I'm glad he... he he did, he did what he said he was going to do. <laughs> He's jumping up front. Sean, if the professor calls about that job, just tell him, sorry. I had to go see about a girl. Well. Yes. Yes. <laughs> bitch. Stole my life. <laughs> Yes! Yes! <laughs> All right, awesome. Well, thanks guys for watching Goodwill Hunting with me today. Um, as far as my thoughts go on the movie, Chef's Kiss. I like this movie. Um, I love love. I'm a sucker for love, okay? And like anything that's just like working through and healing and processing trauma, I am here for it. So this movie is definitely right up my alley and speaks volumes to me. 
um hits me in my personal feel spot and yeah i think i don't know um i don't think i've watched a movie like this before so like uh on like for the channel but this is definitely a movie that i would watch again or push to watch with my friends um yeah all right well i don't know i think that's all i got so cool love this movie thank you chad for uh letting me watch this movie i loved it okay <laughs> i gotta go bye guys